I got Anthony Joshua. He slipped up and made some mistakes in that last fight. Uh, and people forget that before that, before Andy Ruiz got him hurt, Joshua had him hurt first, and he had dropped him first. So I think uh, Joshua a better boss. I kind of feel like he gonna get, win his titles back, and then uh, they're gonna be talking about home versus Wilder again. I go with Ruiz. You know, I go with Ruiz again. He, like I was, you know, I was at the fight. I was there at Madison Square Garden. And, um, it just for me, it just looked like Anthony Joshua was. He wasn't nervous. He wasn't. He was just so nonchalant. He was just he. Right before the bell rang, he was sitting with his arms on the ropes, like he just wasn't about to get in the fight, like he was about to spar or something like that. You know, like Ruiz was bouncing up and down, like you're supposed to be. He was ready, and it. I don't. I can't say that. You know, Andy Joshua took him light. I don't know. I don't know if he took him light or not. Um, you can't say, but it just that's what it seemed like to me. Um, but at the same time, I still think that Ruiz might have the style to beat him. You know, he's he might hit him again and has the style to beat him, and then that's that first fight is gonna come back. So, um, it'll be very interesting. But I still, I go with uh, I go with Andrew Ruiz. We was due to, uh, Yui was due to fight Bar- to fight Ruiz before he opted to fight Parker. So we know all about Ruiz. I've known of him for quite a long while. I think he's a very, very good box fighter. You know, and like I said, he trains properly. He's a series contender. So it's like I've said, if Ruiz properly dedicates and he trains like a champion and he really wants to keep hold of the belt, then I think, <clears throat> I think this fight in Saudi is a genuine 50-50 fight. He can go either way. But I think if it goes to his head a little bit and he cuts corners in training and he believes the hype that he can just blow Joshua away again, then Joshua will come away with the victory with pretty much ease. Joshua has to just focus on getting the belts back at any cost. You know, not rather just pleasing the public. He needs to just do his own thing, you know, and uh, box and be sent for- To be honest, uh, in, on the first fight, it seems to be easy for Joshua because something happened with him in the first fight. I don't know what exactly. Maybe it was the pressure. Maybe it was a star strike. Maybe he like earning too much money and losing motivation. But something was wrong with him. He wasn't looked like him. But I think right now, uh, the rematch, I think Joshua is supposed to win, but I don't think he's going to destroy the guy in, for a couple rounds. I think it's going to be competitive fight, but then eventually Joshua going to win either decision or a stoppage in the late rounds. Obviously, the the, the first fight, I think uh, no one gave, a, a, you know, Andy Ruiz a chance. Obviously, that's another another perfect example that the underdog, you know, always comes to fight. You know that nothing is written in boxing, and um, obviously we know that uh, um, Joshua possibly could have got a uh, uh, overconfident. You know, he saw a short um, Mexican kid, you know, little chubby, and he's thinking like, okay, this guy's here for a payday. But obviously, you know, we, in boxing, you can't ever be too confident. Um, right now. The way I see things is, is once again, man, it, you know, the first fight, if you were a real boxing man, you knew it was a 50-50 fight because we knew Andy Ruiz could fight. If you were a casual, you would see the guy, and you're like, oh, this guy's not winning. But boxing fans knew it was a 50-50, and once again, I think it's a 50-50 fight. Why? It's just something like the Roberto Duran and Sugar Ray Leonard fight. I mean, after the fight, you know, Duran won, he went out and, you know, doing all these crazy things, and I think – Andy did a little bit of that, you know, and I, we saw uh, uh, Joshua in the gym grinding. So, you know, I know Joshua wants to get that back. Obviously, he's becoming a lot more focused. He knows what he's getting himself out, um, into. But, uh, I mean, Andy Ruiz, he's good speed for a heavyweight. So, it's another 50-50 fight, of course. I think I'm leaning for, for, for Andrew Reese on that one just because his confidence is there fully. And um, I think he, he broke uh, Joshua's spirit in that last fight. See, the thing I think with Anthony, he, he has to have a, a determination. He has to have, like, some animosity, some type of grudge, I guess, uh, to um, to compete at his best, I, I think. Um, that's just my opinion. I, I, you know, I'm not trying to, you know, put facts on the man. So, But 
you know, just from my observation, and that's kind of what I see. So I think he, and I think, you know, he has, he has a good reason now, you know what I'm saying? I think that one of the reasons why he did take that L is because he kind of overlooked it and, you know, it just was, you know, another day to him, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, some people, you know, when you, when you, when you're at that pedestal and you're up there like that, you could t- t- tend to let things get over your head, you know, even if you're still working hard and you're still a humble person, so certain things could slip through the tra- uh, cracks. So um, I think this fight is definitely going to be a very different fight than the first one, but I can see it playing out the same way. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it depends on, you know, who's going to implement the game plan the, the night of the fight. You know what I'm saying? All the preparation and all that stuff is, is there to, you know, to continue with the game plan, but, you know, everybody got a plan until they get hit, you know? So we'll see. I really can't call it this one. <laughs> okay, that's cool. The, the, the last time I, I kind of, I've kind of um, was favoring. Um, well, to me, I kept talking about Andy Ruiz, but I kind of was favoring Anthony Joshua because of everybody's, you know, forced opinions. Uh, but I, I did see that he wasn't going to be laying down Andy Ruiz, no, and it wasn't going to be an easy fight. So, but this time, I, I really think that um, it, if uh, Anthony Joshua sticks to um, making it nice and easy for himself, then he he could be uh, he could prevail. So, uh, but you know, you never know. It's, it's very hard to say with all the pressure and all these things that are going on. You don't know how the guy is taking it, and and I think it kind of. I think it's kind of really up to Anthony as far as his attitude and his um, and, and his mentality uh, that night of the fight. I'm leaning with uh, Ruiz, but, uh, I mean, you know, I believe, you know, I mean, Joshua, you know, he's really going to come, you know, prepared. You know, he's going to make sure, you know, he, you know, he goes back and, you know, he corrects all the mistakes he made in the first fight. And um, I mean, I, so I mean, I believe you know this one is gonna be a more um, a more intense fight. You know, even though that first one, I mean, it was that had everybody you know out of their seats. Uh, but yeah, I mean, the me personally, I mean, I'm I'm leaning with the uh, with Ruiz again. I'd pick um, Joshua by an early KO, but if he doesn't get him out early, I, I could see. Um, yeah, I can see it being even after after the early round. So it could be any anyone's. But I'd like to see Joshua do do him early, catch him early. Man, um, I I think Ruiz is gonna get it. Um, I just kind of been seeing who's um in well, my brother's in Ruiz's camp actually getting him ready, yeah. and. And um, I think who Joshua was some of his camp. I just think that Ruiz has a little bit better sparring partners if you kind of look. Um, and then you know the confidence that uh, he beat him in. So he's carrying a, a you know amazing amount of confidence coming in. You know, so I see really Ruiz getting it again. But it's definitely going to be um, interesting because we're going to see how well uh, Joshua makes adjustments. You know, we'll see what what what, what he does and who's who's telling him right. You know, because uh, if you look at that loss at that moment in time, he didn't know what he got hit with. So, uh, the rematch is it's going to be very very tough. I think it all depends on how Joshua is mentally uh, going into the fight. I honestly think that he wasn't right in the first fight, and uh, he did he he hurt Andy Reese, but I think uh, he was giving Andy Reese too much respect. And I think if uh, Anthony Joshua goes in there extremely confident and and knowing that uh, he has a lot to lose and that he's that he is the bigger fighter and that he could overwhelm Andrew Reese if he applies that pressure and just you know bites down and, and lands a big shot, I think that he he could uh, overcome it and and take his titles back. But I think that if Anthony Joshua has that that doubt in him, uh, not even a doubt, but just in the back of his mind of him getting knocked down, of him getting hurt in the first fight, and he don't want to get hurt like that again or he don't want to get hit like that again, I think he's going to second-guess his uh, his abilities. And I think if he does that going into the fight, I think Andrew Reese is just going to go out there and, and do the same thing he did in the first fight. So I think it just all depends on, on Anthony Joshua's um, mental state going into that fight. 
Andy Reese is one hell of a fighter, and uh, he's overcame a lot of obstacles. Man, just to see him succeed like that, I, I really, I really am pushing for him to win again because he is a he's a Mexican American, but his background and everything, man, just to see that he actually got got that dream going. He's the first first me- Mexican heavyweight to to ever accomplish that goal. I mean, it's history in the making, and I'm very honored to just be living this and to to be watching him perform. And so. Uh, I think it's going to be one hell of a fight, but I think uh, my personal choice is Andy Reese is going to win uh, probably late stoppage again. Oh, I just think AJ's going to recapture what was his. I don't believe he was truthfully right on uh, on that on that show, and I know he said everything went went to plan and and went right for him, but I just don't believe he looked like looks himself walking into the ring. So um, it'll be interesting to see. I think he'll he'll get him out of there pretty comfortably. I think he might box a lot differently, but I think he's he's going to become the uh, a two time world champion and recapture it. You know what? Uh, to be honest, at that weight, heavyweight, anything can happen. <laughs> it's a fifty fifty. I mean, uh, both of the guys got the power to finish the punch with one. Uh, I mean, finish the fight with one punch. And uh, I'm actually pretty interested on this fight. So I know um, what happened on the first fight. It was um, it was a pretty good fight, you know. Um, with his name uh, Reeves got dropped, then he came back strong and finished off uh, Joshua. You know, he could have been on this fight as well. But like I said, it it's a fifty fifty. Anything can happen at that weight. Both of them got the power to change the fight with one punch. Let, let let the let the best man win, and for me, I just want to see a great fight. I don't even, you know, it's it's weird because like I usually go for the underdogs, but I don't know if there's an underdog in this one. It's like they both the underdogs, kinda. You know what I mean? Andy's trying to keep the belt, and Josh is trying to get the belts back. You know, so you know, um, man. I, I, I just want to see a good fight. You know, if Joshua can show some boxing, that would be real, you know, smooth, cool. But I think his eternal instincts are just a, just a bang, a person I'm off him. So, um, but Andy, man, he, he tough, man. I, I don't know. That's a tough one, too, man. You're killing me. <laughs> um, yeah, that's a tough one, too, man. I just, I just want to see a good fight. Like I said, I don't know neither one of them, so. I can't really, I can't really pick, you know, off the top of my head. I feel like it's gonna be a really, really good fight. Uh, I think Ruiz is not, if he's not gonna knock him down, and in, in the early rounds he would definitely finish him in the later rounds. Well, I'll tell you something, right? Before the fight, everyone was saying, "Oh, this guy's fat," and I, and I was like, "Look." Don't count him out. Trust me, Andy Ruiz can fight. He's he's got some pedigree, you know. And everyone was on this man. And in the end, just before the fight, I said, "You know what? I'm going with Andy Ruiz. Andy Ruiz is going to win." And then I tell you what, he, he, I I just had a feeling. Look, when Anthony Joshua was walking to the ring, he looked like a fish out of the water. He had no idea what was going on. He looked he looked very um uh, I don't know like like something had gotten to him. He didn't look himself. You know, he wasn't his chirpy self. So I, I guess. You know, like, the moment got to him, you know, and people need to understand, for fighters, leaving your country and fighting abroad is not easy, you know, it's very, very hard, you know, I mean, when you're when you're a, a star like Anthony Joshua is and you don't have to leave your backyard because you can make millions of dollars fighting in your own backyard, you know, you, you should just stay there because fighting abroad is not easy, you know what I mean? You know, again, I don't I don't really, I look, I, I like Anthony Joshua, and, uh, but I just don't believe he can actually beat um, Anthony. Uh, I don't think he can beat, can beat Andy Ruiz. I think Andy Ruiz has got his number. I do believe Ruiz beats Joshua again. I think it was about time that he, you know, I didn't expect, to be honest with you, I didn't expect Ruiz to beat him. So if I'd be lying to say, oh, yeah, I knew that was going to happen because I never... I didn't really know much about Ruiz till after he won, and I'd done a bit of research on him and had a little look to see how that happened, and I can, now I can see why that happened. If he just stayed hungry and determined to win, I think he goes out and, and he beats he beats Joshua again. 
But Joshua has lost a lot of weight, so it'd be interesting to see how he comes out. But I do I've never I've never been a great fan of Anthony Joshua. He's done very well at the business side of things. He's earned himself a lot of money, so fair play to him, credit for that. But I do believe boxing ability was very um I don't know if limit's the right word. A bit green. Limited, a bit I don't know if that's the right perhaps. word, but yes, hundred percent. And obviously the likes of Tyson Fury, I've said from day one, beats all all is, is the best we've got. And now Ruiz is up there. Um so yeah, I think Ruiz beats him on a rematch, but I do believe that Fury is the best every way out there. That one I would have to say is a toss up. <laughs> Andy Ruiz, he got caught, he got dropped, and it can happen again. And maybe uh, Joshua keeps his composure, um, keeps his chin down, doesn't get caught, doesn't let Andy Ruiz uh, get inside and throw the combinations that he allowed him to throw. So, but Andy Ruiz has his has his number. He stopped him. He heard him. So I feel like that one's a fifty fifty toss up. I think it's going to be a great rematch. And, you know, best of luck to both those fighters. But I I see that fight being 50-50. I know that both guys are going to be working very, very hard to put on, you know, a great performance because it's going to be, it's, you know, it's not in anyone's hometown or there's no home advances in Saudi Arabia. So both guys are going to be they're preparing in their camps, they're flying there. And I think um, the way that I've seen Joshua train and from what I've seen on, on online and that, he's trimmed down a lot. I think with well, Ruiz having the belt, he's got a lot of confidence going into this fight. So I, 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 for me personally, I still think it's a 50-50 fight. A lot of people say that Joshua is still the favorite to win if he changes up a few things, but you can never sort of take anything away from Andrew Ruiz. He's one of those fighters that, you know, combination, speed, if he catches you, you know. So for me, it's a 50-50, and I just, I'm looking forward to it. You know, both fighters will be a lot more improved coming into the rematch. And I guess it's just whoever, you know, executes their plan. I know mean, Andy Ruiz will be a lot better and he'll put on more pressure and throw more punches. But I think Joshua, as a, you know, he was a former unified champion. You know, he'll come back a lot more prepared as well. And I think with a different game plan. I think he has to box him from the outside and move. Andy's one of those fighters that you can't just stand there and trade because, you know, he's got some, you know, some good power. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I'm going to let you sit on the fence there then. <laughs> I'm sitting on the fence at the moment, so, and the fence is quite high. 